Hello and welcome to our Behavioral Statistics Psych 104 course. This is Dr. Robert Kelly. It's a pleasure to have you here. Throughout the semester, anytime you have a question, there's lots of ways to get a hold of me and get the assistance that you need. Probably the best way is to click on the Ask a Question discussion board. Simply go down to where it says Reply, click there, type your question, and then go ahead and click the Post Reply. Make sure that you're subscribed, and this will help to ensure that when I give you a response, you'll be notified via your email immediately. The benefit of the ask a question is just like in a classroom setting, if one person has a question, typically like five or more other people also have that question. And so it just helps to put that question out there and get answered to the benefit of everyone. To head back to the class, just click the link here, return to course homepage. Other ways to reach me would be by email or voicemail. I also have office hours, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12.30 to 1.20 via Zoom. But if you're on campus and you let me know by 10 a.m., you can meet with me at my office at OC3110. You can also set up an appointment uh, to meet with me during the week, uh, either via Zoom or by phone, uh, to help get your questions answered. Let's take a quick look at some of the class resources that are available for you, in addition to being able to reach out to me with your questions. So click on Class Info. So of course, there's the orientation video that you're watching here. There's info on how to use the Ask a Question, if you have any further questions about that. And in addition, you want to make sure that you're notified when important things happen in this class, like did an assignment deadline change? What was that announcement about? Has your work been graded? And so on. So this section here, covers how to set up your Canvas notification page so that you'll be notified when something important happens. And you can also indicate where you want to be notified at. If it's an email different than what's listed in SURF or if you would like to be notified via a text message. There's tutoring support for this class through the STEM LC. And there's a great intro video here on how to take advantage of the resources and as well going to the website uh, to set up an appointment. They'll help you whether you want to like send in a question for assistance, if you want to meet with them on campus, they're at three different campuses or via Zoom. Great people, great resources there. There is a student help desk, so if you have any technical questions like uh, how do you uh, use Canvas to do something or how to use VMware, another software we'll talk about, or uh, how do you find and open up SPSS, they're a wonderful resource. Uh, you can just click on the link here. that will take you to the website. Here are their hours of operation. You can email them, call them, and even do a live chat with them. The textbooks for this course are free, which means that they're available for you as a student to use as a PDF. And so we have workbooks part A and part B that you can uh, use. You can also click on specific chapters from the workbook to open up. And this just makes it easier for you in the class. You don't just outlay any money. You can see the information wherever you're at your device. But I also recommend that you purchase the workbooks at the bookstore so that you can interact with them. So they're workbooks because they have the questions and you can respond and, and it really helps with your student learning. But it's up to you in terms of whether you like to um, purchase them or just rely upon the free uh, PDFs. Uh, in addition, we have the SPSS component of our course, and this uh, spring 2023 will be the first semester where there are no uh, required materials purchased to use the SPSS. Uh, I'll be making all those materials available for you for free uh, via PDFs available in the course. So I'll keep you up to date on how that is going. And that is it in terms of our class uh, info. Let's see how we navigate the class. So there's four different ways I'm going to talk about. One is the calendar. Another is modules. Another is the semester topics. And then finally, Canvas provides like a to-do list. And it's not like you need to remember all four of these methods. Any one of them will get the job done. Let's take a look first at the calendar. So here are our modules for the first two weeks of the semester. Each week is divided into two modules. So for week one, we have a welcome measurement and SPSS module and this uh, due Wednesday. And then we have a scientific method module and that is due on Saturday. The 
first module is getting you introduced to SPSS, and the second module is covering the important concepts for behavioral statistics. And generally a module either focus on the SPSS portion or on the concepts portion. To be able to go to an assignment, just click on the assignment, and I'll show you that particular assignment and all of the links that make up that given module. So the calendar only shows you what is due, and that's a good place to end, but not a good place to start. So when you're in the calendar and you click on an assignment, look at the module and go straight to the instructor's note. So the instructor's note is my heads up to you about what's specific to that module, what, what is uh, important, what you should focus on. So it's a really good initial page to take a look at. The reading to discover, this provides what are some key questions that at the end of the module you want to be able to answer. In general, you'll see these questions again, either on journal activities that you do in the class or on the exam. So you really want to make sure that you're understanding it. It's my way of saying like, hey, heads up, make sure that you're looking to be able to answer this as you do the reading. Step two provides you what is the actual reading assignment. So it lets you know the particular pages, but you can also just click on it and that'll open up the PDF version. Next, we have the lecturettes. Lecturettes are short, focused presentations, typically five to 10 minutes in length, helping you to better grasp and understand the material. And all this material is there to assist you and you decide what material to focus on to make sure that you're learning the course material and that you're succeeding at it. By the way, if you've done the reading and you've looked at the lecturettes and you still have questions, that's when it's an especially good time to use the ask a question to reach out and just let me know what topics you're still fuzzy on or would like some assistance with and I'll look to help provide further assistance on that topic. Okay, so in our first module, it's getting you introduced to our statistical software program, which runs in the uh, VMware, which is like a, a virtual machine. Uh, so that, you know, back in the day when everyone was on campus, we had a computer lab you'd walk into, and the computer lab, every computer would have the expensive software so that you would have to buy it at home. Well, with COVID, and even before then, we had virtual machines which is like walking to a virtual lab and all the virtual machines would have the software you needed. And it's basically a, a tab that you open up in your browser. So I'll, I'll cover that more uh, as part of this learning module. So this is an activity to help get you familiar with VMware and Google Docs. Then this next link is about how to use SPSS for our course, available on campus, talks about the VMware option, and again, uh, when you get to this module, and it'll provide you all the information you need to be successful at that. Then we have an SPSS activity where you do a data entry activity. You just create a, a brand new SPSS uh, sheet. You'll be recording results uh, and creating some variables, just kind of a nice little intro activity. Well, lots of support here for you to be able to do this really well. There's a video that shows you how to do it. There's a a PDF a manual for how to do it. Uh, I'm available to assist you if you would like. I mean, definitely focus on making sure that you have a, a very good and, and positive experience here. And then you're at the end of the module. So this is where you want to be at the end of the module with the word done by Wednesday. Then we'll have our second module of the week. And the second module of the week, remember, focuses on the scientific method. So again, this is the uh, instructor's note kind of giving you a heads up. We have the reading to discover, so it's kind of a rhythm to these modules. It kind of, you see it repeat each uh, module. It'll list the important critical thinking questions to focus on as you do the reading. And just as before, here are the reading assignments. Uh, and you can just click to open up the PDFs. There are lecturettes to assist you. And the lecturettes are not mandatory in any way. They're there just to help you if you're like, hey, I, I wanna go deeper into that topic I find interesting. Or if you're like, ooh, that one was a little bit more challenging. Uh, I like some additional assistance on it. 
and generally these lecture as a result of like student questions having come up in the past. There's also optional recorded class lessons. So before I started teaching online, I recorded with my students' permission uh, the my teaching in class on campus. And then also during COVID, when I taught via Zoom, again with my students' permission, I made recordings. And so those are worked into this class. And they're here just in case if you like to see kind of like the, the whole uh, teaching experience. At the end of the module, there's three evaluations. There's a self-evaluation, the quiz, and the journal. The self-evaluation and the quiz are identical, except that the self-evaluation, you can take as many times as you would like. And every time you take it, if you miss a question, it gives you feedback to help you with the learning it. So it's a really nice way to review. The quiz is kind of like, okay, you've done all the review. Let's see what you got. And so it's a one time take the quiz experience, but it and the self-evaluation draw upon the same pool of questions. So if you do the self-evaluation a few times, you'll get a good idea of how well you know the material. And then finally, there is the journal. And the journal is where you're asked to answer those earlier critical thinking questions. And sometimes, you know, something else like uh, where you introduce yourself to your fellow students or to myself, or I'm asking you about how well uh, you understand a particular topic. So it's just a nice way to kind of share what you know and to stay connected with your instructor and your fellow students. Okay, so let's head back to our course homepage. So I had shared that there was lots of different ways to navigate and the calendar was one of them and we just saw that in action. Another way is to use the schedule of topics for that semester. And so it's organized by week, week one, week two, week three, and whether it's due on Wednesday or on Saturday. And I just want to put out here that anything that's due on Saturday, you can always take through Sunday. No worries. Just, you know, you have that whole weekend if you need it. So I just have the Wednesday, Saturday due dates here. But again, if it's due Saturday, you can take all the way uh, through Sunday if you would like. So that's the second method. And then a third method is to use the modules view. So it's kind of like a top-down view, letting you know it's in the module. So a lot of students enjoy this approach as well. And finally, there's typically a, a, a to-do list that runs along the top right that will list all the different assignments uh, that you have coming up that are due. So there you go. That lets you know a little bit about our course, what we're doing this first week of the semester, how to ask your questions and get them answered, and how to navigate through the class. Again, it's a pleasure to have you in the class. I'm looking forward to getting to know you throughout the semester and wishing you the very best. Take care.